Hey guys, welcome back to Clock Ox Crypto. Hope you guys are moving forward in everything that you do. Diving right into it, this market update here, taking a look at these two projects that I believe are sleepers by far. First project, as you know, guys, is XRP. Taking a look at XRP, and to be honest with you guys, I think we look at Coin Market Cap. Okay, we look at Coin Market Cap, and we see, despite everything XRP has been through, it's remained in the top 10 on coin market cap for total market cap okay it's it's remained there despite the sec despite poor price action despite the fud of people saying i'm getting rid of xrp i do think xrp will be a top performer and will perform beautifully as we enter the bull run i do think we have down to q4 of 2024 and into q1 of 2025 to really see the bull market take its peak right i do think we're in an election year in the united states the united states does have this election for presidency i do think that everything will play together and i think guys you do have time to accumulate so definitely xrp is one of those projects that i believe will be a huge performer and right now is a sleeper guys i think people are sleeping on xrp i think the value that they're creating i think the partnerships that they already have is unmatched and i think if we look at the sentiment take a look at the sentiment and like i said in investing at least for us it's in financial advice but in investing you have to think differently okay now everyone's saying they're dumping their bags at xrp xrp's dead I think that is the same sentiment that I've told you guys before that we've seen and only to see a, a, a token rise from the ashes and perform beautifully. So XRP is one of those projects that I do believe is going to do great, especially long term, guys, long term. The writing's on the wall. Take a look at their website. They're pretty transparent. Dive in. You can see the use cases for XRP right and you can see almost the you know the all the different utility that xrp is fueling in this ecosystem the utility for the xrp token and you know really how this is being applied to banks right this is this is the project that is said to replace the swift banking system which is pretty much the legacy banking system that we deal with deal with now so definitely pay attention to that uh, and i you know this is one of the projects that is going to be a top performer it is a conservative pick i get it guys you know we talk a little aggressive sometimes on this channel right we do talk aggressive sometimes this is a conservative pick that we have that is almost for us a sure bet right of course nothing's guaranteed but this is a sure bet for us not going anywhere and we are thinking differently because of all the writing on the wall talking about XRP's dead. I don't think it's dead. I think sky's the limit. And, you know, the, the future is looking very promising for XRP, right? And I'm excited to see how this ecosystem correlates to not only the bull market, but correlates to the legacy banking system utilizing XRP to fuel them transitioning into tokenization and utilizing uh, a better form of you know payments you know and being able to to send payments for a fraction of the cost and how they're going to absorb that and, and and continue to to be competitive in the industry so xrp is by far you know one of our top picks the next pick we have is no surprise to you it is cardano now Cardano has the same notion, okay? The same the same is being said about Cardano when it comes to being dead, being a you know, a dead coin and and a dead project and I just do not think that's the case. Uh, you know, we've I've seen this before at lower price points as I've told you before. Um, I got into Cardano way back. Oh, it doesn't even seem doesn't seem like that long ago, but holy cow, yeah. It's it's been that long. Uh, I got into Cardano back in, I want to say January of 2018, 
So I started buying Cardano at a, a little under a dollar, okay? And I start, kept buying it all the way down until the lowest entry point, I believe, was about three cents. So I was buying it for a while. Um, I got a lot of it about seven cents, and it crashed down to about four cents was my lowest entry point, I believe. Um, and it dipped down to three cents, and I held. And I accumulated a bag. And it was one of those things where everything was dropping, okay? Everything was dropping. So I wasn't concerned because everything was tanking so when cardano tanked it wasn't like cardano's tanking while everything's blasting up to the moon it just it it wasn't happening everything was tanking it got down to three cents um continued to accumulate and got a sizable bag a sizable bag and uh watched it run and it had like i told i tell you guys time and time again it had the same feel that xrp had the exact same feel oh this is dead it's over cardano's over shot up to three dollars that's significant right and so when i look at cardano and i look at everything that's being built i look at how they've built it right the science behind it not falling into not falling into how how the competitors are doing right sticking to the process when you look at the roadmap right the 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 transparent roadmap and you now we see the use cases right we see the use cases and how you can apply cardano to education, retail, government finance, and healthcare, and the sky's the limit. I think it makes a big case to, you know, us saying that Cardano is the Google of crypto, right? And, um, you know, for me, long term, Cardano, we believe will do great things. So, you know, that's it for our top picks, our top altcoins. And I know everyone was looking forward to that. I get, I get the messages. Those, I believe, are these two, I believe, are some conservative picks that I believe aren't going anywhere. Okay. They aren't going anywhere. And we talk about foundation, right? The reason why we talk about foundation all the time is I like to pick sure bets to build the foundation in our portfolio. And then once I build that bag, then I go into these high, high riskier plays. The problem is a lot of you guys go in and you see the oh the one person that turned five hundred dollars into 3.5 right it that's that's rare if that was the case it will happen to everybody that's rare most people you lose their money chasing those 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 opportunities even though they are there it does happen but more cases than not most people chase them trying to find them and then go bust right because they're higher risk plays versus building that foundational stack in your portfolio of high probability projects guys top 30 okay top 30 maybe top 40 okay but definitely top 10 projects are high probability projects where you know you don't know for sure right of course nothing's guaranteed i'm gonna say that that disclaimer but you know they're gonna be around okay and with that being said, once you have that stack and then venture off into the high risk or plays, at least you have that stack, that foundation to not not gamble, right? Not gamble with the higher, you know, high risk plays. And there is a, a place in everyone's portfolio for the high risk plays. OK, but it shouldn't be the first thing you do. OK, you should have that foundation first. Right. It just makes sense. So take a look at Bitcoin here. I got Bitcoin pulling back below this resistance or sorry this support level at about 60,000 and if we close there and it's the weekly so we'll see within the next 24 hours if we close below I do think there is space for us to go head down further and it'll give us time and it'll kind of confirm that we do have the rest of this year to accumulate okay so definitely wanted to stop and give you guys some value hope you guys got some value out of this video keep moving forward in everything that you do see you soon